alone with these sleaze bags? Forget it. No, not a chance. Girls, it's a tradition. Either you do it or you're going to find another sorority. Welcome to Second Class Cinema, the show where we watch a B movie and immediately discuss. I am your host, Tommy Mix Nuts, and I am here with Eric, Brittany, and Taryn. Special guest. Welcome back, T. Hello, Hello T. <laughs> it's me. It's you. You're here. And, yes, uh, I am. And, I'm uh, so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the mood's a little weird, a little thick in the room. Uh, we, uh, it's a little we, different. <laughs> it's a little different than usual for you, especially you. Uh, we watched the movie Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama that came out in 1988. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, talk about it. That sums that. Well, we have to talk about it. I know. We got to do something. <laughs> well, we have to. We, we, we watched the whole thing, so now we have to. Right. And uh, That didn't stop us yesterday, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we also failed watching Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys, which uh, we'll address later in the show. Um, Unfortunately, but so let's uh, let's go with the why. Let's start with that, uh, Brittany. This was your pick. Why did you pick it? Because it's called Sorority <laughs> Babes <laughs> Ball Bolorama. Can't really think of a better reason not to watch it. Really, right. so the uh, title is very enticing. It's right? good. I have to say, yeah. We can- I was like, and I watched the trailer, and it actually looked kind of good. I was like, hmm, this could be fun. Yeah, um, I mean, if you break down Wasn't? the different elements of the title, we got Sorority Babes, which is great. Right? I love that. And then Slime Ball, which is really cool. Yep. Right? You don't hear that a lot. <laughs> yep. And then Bolorama, usually not the typical setting. I mean, Sorority uh, Babes were a dime a dozen in the 80s, but yeah. that's pretty much what we're here for. Well, that means the most expected thing in this title will be the Sorority Babes. Everything else seems like a new addition. So, yeah, I totally get why you picked it. I don't know what a Bolorama is. I feel like the Bolorama was, was really like second fiddle to this whole ordeal. <laughs> I think there were 10 fiddles, and that was number 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true, though. Um, so, what, what's it about? What is this movie about? Tell it. <sighs> Tell it like a right. preach it, sister. This movie is about um, a couple of nerds who spy on a sorority initiation ceremony, get caught, and then are forced to escort the sorority and pledges. pledges. Yeah, the yeah. pledges. Pledge. Um, yeah. To the local mall slash bowling alley to steal a bowling trophy. And when they do this, they unwittingly unleash an imp. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is like a tiny little claymation demon, apparently. Not a person. Um, not a person. Not a short person not no. Tyrion Lannister not, definitely yeah. not and, oh god and there it goes um yeah and then he turns them into zombies and people die and it cost me 2.99 it did <laughs> but at least we got this rental for seven days on Amazon 2.99 totally deal check it out totally deal totally deal. <laughs> totally dealing <laughs> totally dealing. wheeling and dealing in 2016 <laughs> um yeah Woo. that's it so let's let's get down to brass tacks <laughs> let's really dig in um did that any business? Brass tax, that's huh? business that's business talk okay yeah, that is business talk okay if you've never been to a corporation there are brass tacks everywhere <laughs> you gotta people, be careful where you step people get down on all fours and conduct meetings <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay you clowns cut the crap Totally ill. So let's uh, let's start with successes, uh, as we do here on this show. I have one. You have one. Let's what hear the one. And it's not so much as a success as it is just an observation. Um, Linnea Quigley is the best part of this movie. Hands down. Obviously. Um, her character is named Spider, and she's like a ruffian who's also breaking into the bowling alley the same night and just like helps them commit thievery. Yeah, it doesn't yep. take any money. No, nope. you noticed yeah. she still didn't get any cash. No, but she she found uh, she found partnership. Yes, in one of our uh, slime Calvin. ball gentlemen, little Cal and Cal, Andrus Jones or Andrus Jones from Nightmare on Elm Street Four and and Night Trap, Night Trap. Yes, uh, another member. Of night trap here for us and uh, oh, Tom, look out behind you. Oh, is what is that? Is that a night trap? Night, night trap. trap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, so that's that's your one single success, and and I yeah. think I can agree on that one. Um, um, 
I mean, her she's not like an especially great actress, but at least all of her lines and dialogue were delivered with a modicum of fucking emotion, <laughs> like yeah. at all. And so uh, I yeah. appreciated that. That that does kind of tie into my only success as well, in that this movie did us the favor of killing off all the generic characters we didn't care about. Whereas usually it's backwards when it comes to these low budget eighties horror movies. That's true. Um, and they left us with probably the two most interesting characters, Spider, obviously, and, and the nerd Calvin was at least had some character. Irritating, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this um, this reeked like um, like flesh eating mothers mm. and girlfriend from hell. Yeah, like this was ex- it's like the same type same of movie. Same oeuvre. And I, oh, I'm getting typecast. You are, <laughs> absolutely, you are. <laughs> I this, like. I'm sorry, guys. I quit. You quit. <laughs> I'm just never gonna pick another movie ever again. You can't quit. You're fired. This, this is just <laughs> your <laughs> last. Oh I, God. I had had one thing written down, and please it, share. Well, I'm, I crossed it out by the end of the movie, and really, <laughs> I saw you cross something out, and I was real curious. I about tried what to it make was. it loud so everyone knew. I was oh, I heard it. I, yeah. I heard it was the sound of someone crossing something out, and I just laughed. <laughs> yeah. Scratch, scratch. I knew it wasn't someone crossing out a failure. <laughs> no, definitely not. And uh, you know, and, and no fault of the original success, but I just didn't want to give this movie anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, at first, I was it's like, taking too much from me." You was know it what? The music. Well, the music. The, so the opening title music was fine. It was, mm-hmm. it was fine. Um, but then after that, I was like, "You know what? This wardrobe is is really goofy," and <laughs> I, I was kind of into it at first. And then mm-hmm. by the end of the movie, I just stopped caring. Yep. And I was like, "You know, I don't even want to talk about it. Yep. I don't want to mention it." Then I mentioned it. <laughs> yep. But <laughs> but you don't want to give it any credit. But I'm not gonna give it any credit, <laughs> even though it's in successes. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that that that's my that's my final thought on on any positive notes to the to the actual movie. Yeah. It was kind of funny to see that goofy '80s frat wardrobe because we have talked at one point about writing like a short sketch about a parody of like a yeah. really crappy '80s frat comedy, <laughs> and like we were watching and we we're like, well, we don't have to do the sketch anymore. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, did it, they made it look better than we could ever yeah, dream of. So. No way we'd be able to top this. <laughs> T, what about you? Uh, definitely on the same page as to having no successes. Um, that makes sense. Spider was probably the best of the film i wrote um i liked her dialogue a lot but i hated her delivery because she kind of sucks as an actress <laughs> but like i her really voice is very like it's super annoying and weird yeah but everything she was saying i liked like i thought she was the funniest part of the movie yeah. but it's not and, like really her comedy. Di- her dialogue was the best but it wasn't even that good <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, just in comparison to the rest of the movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is all working within the confines of this particular movie, and yeah. we're saying the best, and that this is awesome, and no. It, but <laughs> she, like, she had something to say, which yep. I liked, because everybody else was so emotionless. Mm-hmm. So like, bad. no reaction to anything that was going on, and I found that so fucking odd and super annoying <laughs> at, at some points. Oh, yeah. Like... We'll bring Everyone up later, just stands but and stares. Yeah, yeah. And then my other success was I did like the music. Like we, I heard us all writing when it first <laughs> came on. Like it started off on a fun note, but I don't think they use music enough, like no. to their advantage at all. At all. At all. Like the songs they did use though were pretty like Do you want to entertaining, know but because nothing happened in this movie. <laughs> but I like, disagree. No, I disagree too because when they were like running down the staircase getting chased by a uh, fucking Frankenstein's uh, wife Frankenstein, yeah. Oh, yeah. or what? Donald Duck or whoever the hell we were calling it. <laughs> fucking Bride of Frankie. Yeah. yeah one of the... Uh, I don't even want to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> but like you think like being ch- a chasing scene needs some music, oh, dude. Like yeah. at the end of the day you yeah. need some music Get and it. it was just like people running down the stairs yeah. stomping and I was like, eh... I'm not, not feeling that. Yeah, but not that, the right choice for this movie. Yeah. No, it, it didn't add anything. And that's going to actually lead to my biggest failure. I think this, this movie just lacked a score. It lacked... This felt like like the rough cut. Like, here's everything we put together for the movie. We're no not one edited yet. it. Yep. Yeah. We didn't do a sound pass yet. We didn't do this yet. We didn't do this yet. And, like, it just felt incomplete. I feel like this was one of the movies where they did one take of everything. And they were like, all right, we're just going to use that. Yeah. Yep. I mean... We have the soundstage for a week. Yeah, but they use the blank stares. Oh no! For yeah. everything, <laughs> like everyone blank staring, everyone blank staring. Yeah, mouths agape. Look at your floor. It blank was stare. An emotionless horror comedy, which is not good. Like there was nothing to it. It wasn't horrific, and it wasn't funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. I have so okay. This movie was not scary. It was not <laughs> funny. It was not gory. It was mildly sexy. Like. That is- <laughs> Mildly, mildly. mildly. Even I got sick of watching people get spanked after about four and a half. Dude, minutes. dude, I wrote that scene with Keith and Lisa. 
<laughs> played out for way too long, no, too. And why bad. did he not fuck her? I'm sorry, but that was your wish, Keith? <laughs> and you aren't spanking that booty in the bowling room bathroom? Like, I don't get it. That made me so uncomfortable. I felt like he was being man raped. Oh, yeah. yeah I was like, was but it was like, you, I felt like there was an internal, like, I don't know. He yeah, wanted to, but then struggle. he was like, no, Lisa. Yeah, he all of a sudden grew a conscience after yeah. after he... He was like, you're doing this because of a spell. Yeah, that he wished for. Yeah, I yeah. want he you is to a want me. child. Let me, let me bite your toes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, that was weird. Over With the sock. Gross high sock. Oh, uh, uh, mouth yeah. on the sock. Yeah, this imp yeah. would grant people wishes that would eventually backfire on them. Okay, I so we're transitioning directly into failures We've because I, that. We did, yeah. I hated the imp so much. Yeah, that was yeah. bad. Bad. It was His like a voice. little claymation, like demon dragon rat thing that had like a black pimp voice yes a black yes it was so annoying that was his voice a pimp voice <laughs> i was like was yo what are you some old girl doing in here that's what he sounded like the yeah. guy from zombie 90 i wish it was that would have been much better that would have made at least a little he should have redubbed this movie yeah uh, um um i hated when he popped up too that whole scene was so boring yeah, it was the most boring scene. I think that's in why the I movie. feel like nothing happened. Everything yeah. was so eventful. Like there was no reaction to anything. Like it was just like now this is happening. Now this is happening. Now this is happening. <laughs> Roll credits. Yeah, and then they would throw in little things that I think they thought were jokes or punchlines to Dude, things yeah. that didn't. <laughs> that was gonna be the next thing that I had to say. I yep. felt like the punchlines in this were so non-existent, but weird. Mm-hmm. Like they would just say a normal sentence. And that was the punchline. And then, like, the scene would cut. As yeah. if, like, ah, ha, that old, like somebody that said old funny joke. I got your said pants. about pants. Yeah. <laughs> I got your pants. And then it was, like, cut to a new scene. I was like, what? Yeah. Still didn't fuck Keith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got friolated. Yeah, yes. which we didn't even get to see the aftermath of. Like, if oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you guys what happened board, to him because Nothing. I totally forgot what even happened. He to him. got friolated. He was eating fries. Why was he eating fries when the bully alley was, was shut down? It was closed. Why was that They were probably hot? wicked old fries. Oh. Keith just sucks. <laughs> That's why he wasn't getting any. He wasn't. Even when he wished for it, he couldn't get any. Ugh. Man, what a disaster. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't show like any of that. Like I kind of thought it was cool when they put, um, I think it's Jimmy, the, the fat boy, they kept mm-hmm. calling him. Um, in the coin machine or like to get quarter like tokens or whatever yeah. and they like put his face in there which kind of didn't make sense now that I think about it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because like how is your face actually getting like uh, mutilated um, <laughs> but then that wasn't even cool no it, like, and then his head down the alley wasn't really like didn't take it far enough like Dude, I feel I like they even, weren't taking stuff far enough yeah. I don't even remember what you're talking about see yeah yeah, I spent like this movie caused me to space out. I'm like, I felt like I was just like watching myself watch the movie. Yep. In not a good way. Yep. Yep. In a very frustrated way. Usually feel pretty alert during movies, and I was like starting to doze off during this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was sad. very like bland, even keel, which is weird because if you're going to make a movie called Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bolorama, I expected way more bowling. <laughs> way more babes all the sorority girls were there like were, 42 there yep. were babes but they just weren't they weren't like using their babes <laughs> they, they, they they debatable babe, babe, debatable <laughs> debatable <laughs> chris lamb uh, <laughs> yeah i just don't i don't fucking know dude uh, um all like know. the jokes were so forced like yeah i know we already talked about that but i was just getting so aggravated when calvin kept making like she demon jokes oh my yeah. god i know I yeah that came like, out of no. nowhere falling yeah. so flat every time yeah i don't i just like if you're gonna okay so you're you're a horror comedy and you're coming out in 1989 and you've got this ball on title you need to pick one thing to be good at mm-hmm. are you gonna be good at the sorority babes are you gonna be good at the bolorama or the slime ball where or, was the slime ball there was or the, they the they slime were the balls? slime balls <laughs> And they weren't that slimy. They I were was like picturing he- like slime, like like this, not Nickelodeon type shit. But <laughs> I meant like Why not? almost like Ghostbusters, like creatures yeah. or something that were slimy. Yeah. I expected them to like break into this bolorama or something like really crazy was happening, and there's gonna be like creatures with goo yeah. and ooze and just disgusting, yeah. great special effects. Yeah, I thought we we're gonna get a special. But maybe that's my tour. fault for just judging a book by its cover. Yeah, and like it had a pretty good cover too. <laughs> it did. I have a quote um, from T. I think this looks cool. 
Oh. <laughs> hey, Thank qu- you for quoting me. Hey, Tara, question. Do you still think the movie's cool? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. Well, you know why you thought it was cool? Because it was Linnea Quigley on the cover in her sweet ripped t-shirt and sweet. like leggings. Yeah. Baller. She looked cool and the name sounded amazing. Yeah. But I'm very disappointed because I feel like the setting was so right to be so fucking awesome. Yes. Like they didn't yeah. use their surroundings at all. Like they used, the like, only the same time they hallway. did the same hallway, <laughs> the the bowling alley they didn't use. I think they used the same shot to bowl an actual head and then bowl an actual ball later. <laughs> and then <laughs> the mall. The first time they did that. You didn't even see the mall. No. Like yeah. just the fountain of the girl. I think that's what's so disappointing because it had potential it had so and it much didn't potential. live up to it at all. Like the idea of it could have been really good. It could have been, yeah. I felt like. In but theory, it, this is a great movie. I'd say they could have made something good out of what they were going for if they had just picked one thing to choose to be good. Like, are you going to be, be really yeah. funny? Then be really funny. Are you going to be gory? Then throw some gore at it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'll forgive the other parts if those other parts are above average. Yeah. I thought they were going to go more towards the babes because we saw a lot of the babes in the beginning and yeah. stuff too. That would have been fine. As long as we, like I knew what I was getting into. Like, something. Just return something to me for my time. <laughs> Zero return on your investment. Yeah. yeah. None. We got 33% from each three thing, but it didn't add to 100%. Yeah. Yep. Because um, of it was a failing 99. grade. <laughs> yeah. I have questions. <laughs> okay. What you... are they? Because I have 29. <laughs> you have 29. How many do you have? I have like four, maybe. Okay. So 33 questions. Number one. <laughs> 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 um, Like, did Babs, was she supposed to know about the imp? No, she had no idea. Is that what we're led to believe? Nope. Because I feel like at certain points, it points us in that direction. How, what makes you say that? Yeah. When her and her friends were watching like what was happening on the monitor, they weren't like surprised. They. I think that was a function of the terrible acting. Yeah. Okay. I was saying, <laughs> no, I agree. They, they said Didn't the they words. Ask her? Yeah. yeah. But she was just like, oh, the imp is granting them wishes. Like, hey, this is exactly what we brought them here for. We better go down and check it out. <laughs> No, see, they were talking like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. What, what like, is did happening? Did you plan this? And I didn't plan this. And they were like, I want some wishes granted. I think that's we gotta what they're making it there. seem like. But then, like, the imp knew saw. who she was. Did it? I think so. I think he knew who everyone was, though, because wasn't he calling everybody by their first names? Maybe. True, yeah, true. Like, because he called her Babs. I like, could have just soon. blocked that out. I, I hate... I hated that actress. Well, he became a, uh, I mean, sh- Babs became a, uh, then like one of his minion things, right? Oh, like, don't even bring it up. Doing yeah, his the dirty end. work. She yeah. had like that weird like mullet. The- I thought that she was going to be made into some wicked, sick, demonic creature. Mm. She came out looking like. David Bowie like in the Labyrinth. A, a dominatrix. <laughs> R.I.P. David Bowie in the Labyrinth. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what I wrote down. Yeah, it was. Which that's was exactly what it was. Like a biker. lackluster. Yeah, like. <laughs> biker Goblin King. I mean, it was a cool <laughs> outfit, ugh, but. <laughs> like, it still. It could have been way better. <laughs> Spider was like, too bad we had to kill her. I liked her outfit. Yeah, I know. One of those lines that could have been, I think, a little funnier if they had put the time in to make it funny. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else, guys? Anything else for anything else we want to rip this movie apart for? We are we have climbed to the tallest mountain. We have dropped our pants and have started pooping from a very great height. Yes, um, right on top I'll of this movie. Shit all over this movie. Babs's more. little minion bitch, Frankie. Why was she all of a sudden dressed as the bride of Frankenstein? Well, it's very clear. After Frank- she got turned into a demon. Okay, and so I don't accept that. I wrote this down. I had no idea, but then I think that he said something. The imps brought something up about how they chose to be those types of demons or something. I don't mm. know if you guys caught that. Nope. I didn't put Kinda it a hundred percent together, <laughs> but like, I think that he kind of, I don't know, maybe it was something like inside them that made them choose that demon maybe. to take. I couldn't really tell what the other lady was. She just had like green face. Yeah, yeah. That she kept trying to put makeup on. But maybe it was like an insecurity of like like having oh, like a bad maybe. Th- I don't know I re- I'm going stretching it <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that, that does make sense you, you finally you got it to click in my head yeah. I get what you're going for and I don't think this I think this movie probably like everyone who made it knew that that was happening but it never came across never they, I think yeah. it was yeah which yeah. is a lot of things in this movie it didn't a hundred percent like click till the end yeah didn't Ugh. make didn't make much um, exposition bowling guy um <laughs> Oh, the the like janitor guy. Yeah. yeah, the only one who knew the story of the imp, and it wasn't great. For Thirty years. She's so dumb. Christ Almighty! 
Any other questions? <laughs> um, what's yours? You want to finish yeah, up? Yeah. Um, Number four. I, th- I only have one, like, rhetorical question left, and I know the answer is just because this movie is fucking stupid. But, <laughs> well, okay. like, all they had to do was capture him to yeah, end everything. A disappointing resolution. <laughs> it was, yep. like, the weakest shit I've ever heard. And then they left him on the is, sidewalk. All you have to do is capture him in a tight space. <laughs> I know! And then they just left him on the sidewalk. Like, for the cops to probably open and let <laughs> yeah. him out again. After they were just commenting about how they didn't want anyone to open it. Like, oh, you can have him open there and ask the imp. And then they just leave it on the sidewalk. What the fuck? Should have burned it. Yeah, Ugh. I don't. I don't understand. Um, I wonder if they were hoping for a sequel. Uh, oh, oh, uh. oh, and, and uh, okay. So now that we're on this shot, <laughs> now that we're on this shot, by the way, the, the when the camera moved over to this fucking whatever they stashed him in, that's on the sidewalk. It was he a says, tobacco jar. It was tobacco. It was jar. Prince Albert in a can. Oh, my. yes, I read that as Jesus, well. Jesus, yeah. Now, now I remember. But the, <laughs> the 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 imp on the inside says, "Hey, you in the front row, what are you looking at?" Which is pretty bad because or this movie you, constantly breaks up. Or do you want a wish? Or do you want a wish? Yeah. What are you looking at? Yeah, I kind of messed that up. But <laughs> it's all right. It's whatever. You didn't make the it any worse there. than it already is. Yeah. S- sentiment's there. Ugh. It's talking to the audience in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding me? Well, I mean, in fairness, all the actors are constantly looking at the camera in this movie. So there's oh, yeah. a precedent for it. If anyone was in the front row to this movie, <laughs> I am yeah. so sorry for you. If there was a theater that this movie played at and someone had to sit in the front row for it, then... Break their neck for this movie. I'd like to meet that person. I would. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Send us $10 in an envelope, too. <laughs> um, yeah, Quentin you, Tarantino's uh, <sighs> touring this movie on 70 millimeter. <laughs> uh, T, you have some questions. Oh, they're all super dumb. A lot of them were answered. Um, okay. But my first overall question was, how are their asses not bleeding from being <laughs> paddleboarded? Forever. On their booties. Yeah, that's a good question. They weren't even red. They weren't red booties. We saw her <laughs> in her, they, both of them in their undies, and then the other girl was in the shower for 10 minutes. Washing, washing off the same washing. whipped cream yeah. over and over again. Yeah, with the same shot series, with the same oh. series of shots, like three times. Yep. I don't know. Like, little things like that always make me mad. A little yeah. booty kind of like, come on, man. And they wouldn't be, like, screaming like they're having an orgasm either. They would be, like, excruciating screams yeah. of you're being paddled in the ass. With a big wooden paddle. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. That was uncomfortable after a while. I was like, this is unnecessary. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they had to pad the movie up. I see what you did. There. I think that's all I. Yeah, this movie didn't really know when to let things go. No, they didn't. And then and they, it and then, wasn't even that long. That's no. the worst part. No. Um, I have a question. What's more frustrating, watching this movie or playing Mega Man Three? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Wa- tell you the answer. Watching you play Mega Man Three is the most frustrating. Thing <laughs> watching <my> <laughs> me play Mega Man Three is the most frustrating. Is Mega Man Three the one where you have to run through and you get sliced uh-huh. by like evil goo? <laughs> <laughs> That was Ghostbusters too. Wait, are you talking about a video game? I am. Yeah. The one you were playing yesterday? I was playing yesterday. Yeah, and you have to keep trying and over no and over idea. and over and over again. <laughs> That's the one I had to do. Yeah. 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 I don't. <laughs> I don't like that. No, me either. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes it. But I do it anyway. That's why we're never playing Mega Man Three ever again. Ever again. I'm done. Just like I'm never picking a movie ever. Again. <laughs> um. Any Any last questions? Any Any sort of anything? No. Before we uh, move on to non-existent favorite parts. I have Prosecution one Prosecution rests. Okay. We do have one. Does anyone actually have any favorite parts I besides do. Eric? I wrote down some stuff. You did. I you actually you. had something to say about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Eric, you, you look sassy. What do you got? Woman on fire. Ah. Even ah. the worst movies of the 80s will give us a woman on fire or a man on fire. Which goes And electricity hand. effects. <laughs> That goes hand in hand with my favorite part was when he was like, like Babs, oh. how about a cocktail? <laughs> and threw a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> that was the only joke that went the distance. Yeah. Yeah. And it was terrible, but it was I it knew it was terrible. Oh, the I guy think. had a yeah. grin like five miles wide when he said it. Like, yeah. And I kind of like that because it was the only hint of emotion in this movie. Yeah. That was a <laughs> yeah. flaming woman on fire. Yes, it, was it was like, oh, that man. was ridiculous. It, it was like she was ripping. <laughs> that was like one of the best men on fire I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah, that, that was a roar on fire. <laughs> For and sure. knowing the incompetence of this movie, they probably actually lit somebody on fire. <laughs> and they're dead now. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, do you have anything for parts? I love to hate every time <laughs> What's-His-Face throws up. Oh, okay. Calvin? From drinking uh, one, one Budweiser. Budweiser. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. That's what happens when you drink. Because I feel like mud. the sound was so stupid. Like you were saying, like a rock band, like it sounded like guar. <laughs> like every time we grew up. <laughs> well. Um, other was. than that, there really wasn't anything that was great. No. No. Nope. To shine upon. God, I hate the imp so much. I have no favorite parts. Makes me so mad to think about. <laughs> I have nothing. Yeah. Um, oh, if that's um, if that's wrapping that up, do you, you guys want to rate this? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So let's rate it then. Yeah, I'm gonna go. With yeah, fuck I'm gonna you. have to give it an unfortunate fuck off. Oh my god, my fucking father. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. An all around fuck you. Uh, to hold on, let me have to read this. Uh, sorority babes in the slime ball <laughs> bolorama. What is? Let me have to read the. <laughs> let me have to. I gotta. <laughs> sorority babs um, sorority babes in toyland we basically took the last 20 minutes of our lives to express to the world our distaste for this movie and so simultaneously we give it a fuck you and it's going on the shit list i feel bad because there are a lot of people in this movie who are in otherwise great like 80s yeah but this ha- movies no charm no execution it was very frustrating None to charm watch. At all. None. None. And like the, you charmless bitch. Yeah, and that's a real it's <laughs> a real problem when you're trying to make movies that are supposed to, you know, work on their charm. They're supposed to be psychotic in a way. Right? Yeah. Didn't happen. Nothing. Nothing there. Any anyone have anything to add to that? Any, any to their fuck yous? Mm. It's a real chore. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know we're like well, right, night. let's try again tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, we have to talk about. Uh... Uh... <laughs> okay, so we also <laughs> last night we tried to do this. We got together for an hour and we watched Dollman vs. Demonic Toys uh, to give that a shot. Yep. I found this at a gas station. You did, along with a copy of Dollman and Demonic Toys. We yeah, all, in we a three hope pack. You never had found it. Um, <laughs> the biggest thing I wrote on my pages of notes was, "I'll never get back that 104 minutes." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good one because it was exactly, uh, exactly, exactly 104 how minutes. I felt. <laughs> exactly. Hold on, I gotta pull up my notes on this on the scurvy. Oh, dog. it was so You're boring. Like Fifty <laughs> papers. Uh, I, even go back. Hold on, I got this, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, um, you slime ball. You know what sucks is that for this movie, I had mostly uh, successes written down. Mm. Oh. But that all happened with just Dollman because yep. I like Dollman. I had none written down. And you know what I wrote down for the only negative besides the fact that it was so boring? What? Dollman was severely underused. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. This movie was basically um, so I, I feel kind of bad because we didn't we had never seen demonic toys. We had only seen Dollman. This is the verses, and apparently they jammed a lot of full moon uh, character lore into this movie, which we were unfamiliar with. Yeah, and this movie used Dollman, um, demonic toys, and bad channels. Bad channels. Yes, yep. that's the one. Um, where was it? Her, what was her name? Nurse uh, Ginger. Nurse. Nurse Ginger was the other tiny person in this movie. Ugh. And, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I wrote that the baby was hysterical. <laughs> but overall, I think this movie was very sexist. Yeah. Yep. Like Super. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every woman was half naked or wearing the tightest clothes ever. Mm-hmm. Or someone was reading a penthouse magazine or being called a whore, a hooker or a, a slut. slut. <laughs> The baby yeah. called a lot of people sluts and whores. And they needed to, the, the demon, I guess they were trying to summon their demon or whatever, right? At midnight. Yeah. So they needed a hooker was what to summon their demon. But it was also. A hobo's blood was the right elixir what? to awaken the toys. I don't know <laughs> what was going on in this whole this thing. This whole movie kicks off with a hobo tricycle accident. Well, yes. It was like, um. Sorority babes, it was like sexually uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It was, yeah. Um, this Ugh. baby doll fucking demon thing with like a voice like this <laughs> was like pretty much telling a, radi- a lady that he was gonna rape her. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, yeah. Open up! It was terrible. Oh no, well, he was... yelled open sesame at her crotch. <laughs> yes, he uh, did. yeah, that was a good one. Oh, it was and terrible. The, the baby's like different from every angle they shot it from. At some points, like it was like a plastic baby, then it was a rubber baby, then the hands were plush, and then I was like, "What's going?" on? Yeah, the perspectives got all fucked up in that yeah. movie for it's a, like little a little while. Yeah, like a shriveled little bit. But so, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but Full Moon, I think I think I like the mood of Full Moon movies in general, and I don't think I disliked the mood of this movie. I just didn't like it. And that probably has to do with my lack of history of knowing all the movies that they crammed into this one for them to make the hour-long no, special. No, it's not your fault, because yeah. Yeah. the first 40 minutes were just clips from the other three films yeah. to establish the characters, and then it was like, have yeah, to stop the demonic toys, and then that was like the last 20 minutes, and then it was over. But it was super shallow, But I, and I that, that's fine, but imagine if you had a history with these movies and then all of a sudden they're like oh they threw all the movies into one and a shallow plot that i don't care about i just want to see these people i think screen i'd together. still be annoyed because this had a runtime of like 56 minutes and like 40 percent of that was flashbacks at least yeah it would and have been, been stuff you've already seen like yeah. even with the flashbacks though i feel like nothing really fully connected for me ever mm. yeah like no, i it didn't. didn't the stories weren't really like the characters i had no idea really what they were trying to get to yeah honestly yeah and i don't know it just had like a more mean-spirited vibe than I, i'd say like doll man does doll man's a fun movie it's it's charming even though it's like super violent somehow that doesn't dissuade me from liking the characters at all yeah mm -hmm. i think Whereas, he was my favorite part too yeah uh, despite his pants that did not fit correctly oh, yes. <laughs> his hammer pants, pants. <laughs> hammer pants i fucking hated the laughing clown slug slug thing yeah oh so annoying yeah the no. laugh wasn't right. I feel like it just wasn't right. It was just very strange, but like, I don't know, that that still seemed to hit the mark for Full Moon for me, but I just I just didn't like it. it Whereas I, yeah. I liked All Man. It was a super cash-in. I think that's the big problem. Yeah, totally. They were just trying to make quick buck. Yeah. So that one was a general, I think, fuck you as well. Yeah. I had no pluses or no successes for Doll Man versus Demonic Toys, but I did have a favorite part. What is and your favorite that is? part? Um, and it's when the hobo is like, talking to all the toys <laughs> and he's like hope you don't mind sharing your home with me for tonight and if you do fuck you <laughs> <laughs> but mind you he was not talking to the demonic toys oh no he was talking to regular old inanimate toys some plain jane toys some baby dolls what made it so great <laughs> um i do have one favorite part about this as well and okay. that is that it features songs by quiet riot in 1993 <laughs> oh yes I when i'm sure they needed the money <laughs> yes. yeah they did who, who didn't in 93 though huh any final thoughts on uh, either movie? Or T, what do you have? I had a favorite part. Oh, okay. It was my only favorite part. I thought it was funny. Um, it reminded me of Small Soldiers. Mm. <laughs> uh, the dude. torture sequence when they were trying to torture the doll man and pull him apart with a uh, little... Uh, RC cars? RC cars, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. That was yeah. definitely funny. Like I trying like to rip him, in part, rip him apart. I thought yeah. that was cool. Yeah, more <laughs> stuff like that could have really brought up this movie. Doing oh. silly stuff with the toys, with the toys equivalents. Yeah. yeah. But you mentioning small soldiers totally reminded me that I actually liked the toy. That was the army guy with the yeah. bulging big eyes. guy was the awesome. Bulging eyes that yeah. never blinked. You, yeah. You know, that also region. reminds me of Buffy. The his eyes didn't they have toys in that? Where they had eyes I gotta look into this. I'm sorry <laughs> I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Um any any final thoughts on, on either movie? I would like to say actually one thing quickly about uh slime ball. It. is um there's a quote in that that's at the end of a static x song oh, yeah. that i Jesus. recognized immediately <laughs> i was like i know this song i mean quote it's in a song that i know but you still like, can't pull the quote up i still can't get the quote to finish in the song though because my copy cuts off i hadn't heard that song since eighth grade and i i knew immediately what you're talking about which is bad no because <laughs> it's not a good song uh, what are you talking about from a terrible is, band <laughs> static x is awesome and that song rules <laughs> you're stupid <laughs> Very stupid. Very, oh. um, very stupid. I'm very smart. My mom says I'm handsome. Well, that doesn't mean you're smart. <laughs> uh, any final thoughts, guys? You guys want to yap about something? Yeah. No? Uh, we're done? Nope. Yep. All right. Are we done? I think I'm all set. Okay. <sighs> then you've been listening to Second Class Cinema. We watched Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bolorama from 1988, and it was a notoriously bad movie in our eyes. <laughs> Stinkorama. It's really bad in our eyes. <laughs> I, had, I started talking, <laughs> didn't know where I was going, had to rein it in. So it was a. Uh, it is notoriously it bad, bad here it. at Second Class on the Watch. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a big shit lister. So we didn't like it. And uh, if you want more information on Second Class Cinema, you can come to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Second Class Cinema. You can listen to us on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, SecondClassCinema.com, and FollowingFilms.com. T. 
Taryn, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Thank you, as always. <laughs> thanks for enduring this shit fest for, with us. This was two consecutive days. Two days. Semi wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the company. Yeah. Not necessarily the content. Always. Yes. <laughs> I love you guys. That's what matters. I love you, I love you guys <laughs> I love too. You too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. So appreciate you coming by. Hopefully we'll have you on again where it's not as torturous, but maybe a little, a little bad though. You know? All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Cause that's fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Where, where can they find us? Uh, I, they, they, we watched on Amazon. I mentioned that in the beginning. Okay. Yeah. You have it for seven days. Yeah. Yeah. on Amazon. I actually recommend people buy it. Uh, right at the top of the show. You Why did two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Can't afford not to. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Don't buy it for nine ninety nine. Don't. Don't buy it for a damn penny. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Doozy. Sorority babes in the slime ball bolorama. I just answered a Wheel of Fortune question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>